Lumbar lordosis or lumbar hyperlordosis is an increased curvature in the low back region. This increased curvature is often associated with weak abdominal muscles. When you look at the back, you can see that the pelvis and the rib cage are connected by the vertebra. However, on the front, the only connection between the rib cage and the pelvis is purely muscular. Hence, adequate strength and activation of the abdominals is essential for optimal alignment. Thinking of pulling the lower attachment of the abdominals onto the pelvis can help bring that pelvis to a neutral position. And thinking about pulling the upper attachment of the abdominals on the rib cage down can bring both closer together to create an ideal neutral alignment. Lumbar lordosis is common in dancers, and you can see that the increase in the low back curvature is commonly also associated with an anterior tilt of the pelvis. So first, think about pulling up the lower attachment of those abdominals to bring the ASIS so that they're in vertical alignment relative to the pubic symphysis. Now, as needed, contract the upper attachment of the abdominals to bring the rib cage right above the pelvis at the same time, the upper back is lifting towards the ceiling. As well as learning to identify this position, strengthening the abdominals can also be important for improving lumbar lordosis. The curl up with rotation offers an exercise that emphasizes strengthening the oblique abdominal muscles. In this exercise, it's very important when you rotate to emphasize lifting up and around so the low shoulder stays where it is as the other shoulder lifts up and around so that you're going against gravity. This exercise can also be made more challenging by putting the feet up on a chair and curling up, maintaining flexion of the spine as you rotate rather than allowing the spine to flatten, keeping that distance between the rib cage and the pelvis close as you come back to center and lowering down. After repeating four or five reps in one direction, you would repeat it to the other side. In addition to strength, flexibility can also influence lumbar lordosis. With that increased low back curve, the low back muscles tend to be very tight, and so performing this stretch can help lengthen the low back extensors. Another stretch that's important is for the hip flexors. When the hip flexors are tight, they can tend to pull the pelvis forward or the low back forward and increase that low back curve. With this stretch, again, we wanna think about lifting the ASIS up and bringing the sits bone or the ischial tuberosities down towards the floor so that you get an effective stretch of the hip flexors across that leg. Improving flexibility in the hip flexors and the low back, improving strength in the abdominals, and working on finding that kinesthetic awareness of what ideal alignment is can greatly improve lumbar lordosis.